In case you see this error 404 in your search console, don't be afraid. It is there to help you identify missing pages or bad links on your website. So just to give you an idea about the video, what we will learn. We will learn the common causes and fixes. These causes can be URL, typo or mistakes. Your website was hacked and now a lot of 404 pages are generated. If you deleted some pages or renamed your URLs, then you could also see 404 errors. Server or hosting issues can also cause 404 errors. Broken backlinks, improper server configuration, incorrect URLs, and pages came with the theme or dummy content can also cause 404 error later in your website. In second part, we will also discuss the proper way of redirection. Because redirecting all 404 pages to homepage is not the right approach. Because I see so many times people redirect all the 404 pages to the homepage. That is not the right approach. In third valuable part of this video, I will provide answers to questions I found on other popular videos on YouTube about this topic and they haven't received satisfactory answers. And in the end of the video, the last part, I will give bonus tips to resolve 404 errors when nothing else worked for you. Ok, so first of all, let's start understanding what are 404 errors. So 404 errors has many names. For example, 404 not found, page not found, error 404, 404 file or directory not found, HTTP 404, resource not found and 404 page. They all mean the same thing. So 404 errors occurs when a web server cannot find the requested web page. Or if you type a URL and you cannot find the web page. They may have different names or appear differently in various browser, but all signify the same thing. A page or link does not exist on your website. Ok, let's start with common causes and fixes. So first will be URL typo or mistake. So you can see this is a page on my website and here it is a link. It says contact us. And when I click on this link, you can see this page does not seem to exist. So what happened here? You can see the URL here is funny. It says get in T O U C D which supposed to be said get in touch. So by mistake I typed instead of H I type D. If I go to the page, you can see the link. If I click on this link and if I go to the link here, you can see get in T O U C D. So it was an error or type on my end. If I just change it to H which says get in touch which is the correct page on my website. And if I update this page and now if I go back to the page and if I click on this link, contact us, you can see reach to the right page. We do not see any more 404 error. So what you need to do in that case, you need to correct those kind of URL and links. And how you can find which page got these kind of incorrect URLs. Very simple, go to search console and then click on not found errors. And then for example, there is a link here which says let's create your website slash hello world. And then if you click on this inspect glass icon, you will see the report that how this error was generated. For example, we go to discovery section here. You can see referring page. You can see this is the name of the page which is referring to this page. Hello world. So maybe it's possible this page got a bad link. So what you can do, you can go to this page and look for the incorrect link or spelling mistakes. Okay, second common cause of 404 error can be when a page got deleted by mistake or you rename the URL of the page. For example, you can see this is my contact page, get in touch. By any chance, if I deleted the page and if somebody tried to access this page, this will say this error, this page does not seem to exist. And if I go back to pages and then you can see I go to trash and then you can see here this is our contact page. So if this page got deleted by mistake, what I can do, I can just restore this page and then if somebody access this URL or a Google bot try to access the URL, then they can find this page. So if pages or posts deleted by mistake, you can just restore them and then you can get rid of 404 errors on those URLs. So in short, if a web page deleted or its URL is changed without setting up proper redact and anyone trying to access the old URL will encounter 404 error. E-commerce website or blogs often have products or posts or pages that are moved or expired. If these pages are not properly redacted, users may encounter 404 errors. We will talk in the second part of this video how to set up proper redacts. But now let's move to the third common cause of 404 error. The third common cause of 404 error could be the page or post came with the theme or you can say dummy content. For example, you can see this 404 error, it says hello world. So hello world is a post by default comes with WordPress. And with time, sometime you might delete this post. So this post is already deleted and there is possible that some page has reference to this post. For example, if I click on this lens icon, you can see in referring page, I have this page, author page. If I copy URL and enter URL here, 
you can see I don't have this post here but because when Google crawled my website on this page this post was present an important thing you can see here sitemap temporary processing error so in my old sitemap of my website this post existed on this page and on my home page too so what you can do about this thing if those pages were deleted don't worry about this those pages which are dummy content they're meant to be deleted so what you can do you can go to sitemaps and then check for any mistake you can see sitemap index xml couldn't fetch so google cannot reach to my website sitemap how you can reach to website sitemap enter website url and in the end type slash sitemap underscore index dot xml if you're using seo plugin you will see this page if you are not using a plugin possibly you will not see this sitemap so i suggest you to install a sitemap plugin or you can say seo plugin for example yoast seo or rank map if you want to watch a complete video on yoast seo check the description of this video so you can see this is a sitemap website but i will copy the last part then i click on this sitemap here the old one which was some problematic or even if there was no problem i just click on this sitemap and then from these three dots i click on remove sitemap and then click on remove now i'll enter again here sitemap underscore index dot xml and click on submit you can see sitemap submitted successfully then click on got it and make sure the message here is success so what will happen with time all these pages which were deleted because they came with theme or dummy content they'll be removed and google understand this page was not important on your website another common issue of 404 errors could be server hosting issues so temporary server issues or any other problem on your website it can lead to 404 errors for example you have some problem on your hosting and Google trying to access your website pages and it cannot because your website was down. It can also give 404 errors. For beginners, what you can do, log into cPanel and then scroll here and then go here statistics. And if you see anything in red here, that means your website hosting is having a problem. Either file usage is full or physical memory is completely used. Or CPU usage is getting really high. Or any can be number of processes. I created a video about how to fix common issues on your website so make sure you check that video in the description. So make sure there's no issues on your server or hosting. Okay, next common issue can be broken backlinks. So sometimes the external website may have links pointing to your website pages that are no longer exist or you have changed URL for those pages. That also causes 404 errors. So what you can do, go back to search console and then find out those pages. For example, this page, I'm giving example of same page again but I hope you understand the concept. So again, same thing, inspect the URL. And for example, here, if a referring page is not from your website, it's from some different website. For example, another website is listing a page which is called Hello World from my website on their website, but I don't have this page any longer on my website. So what you can do, you can contact this website here, send them an email, go to their contact page and tell them to change or remove the URL of your website. If they ask you for some money, you can leave that thing totally because Google understand you cannot manage the external links coming to your website so there will no penalty from google on your website another common cause of 404 pages can be when your website is hacked sometimes you see there are thousands and thousands of 404 errors on your search console account so this can be caused because your website was hacked in past so what you can do first you need to clean your website you can use wordfence to clean your website and anti-malware plugin i create video on both these plugins so you can check the description of this video and then you make sure there's no more infection on your website. So once you clean your website, in some time, maybe in a few months, this error will be gone. But don't worry about it if you can still see those error in your search console. This error will be gone completely. Let's move the second part of the video where we'll talk about redirects. Because I saw some YouTube videos which are saying all 404 errors pages should be redirected to the homepage. That is not true. That is a bad practice. So let's talk about this and let me tell you what is the right way to redirect your pages. And before we do that, if you're new to the channel, show your support by smashing the like button. And if you're getting any value out of this video, please subscribe to the channel. Subscribing is totally free and it helps improve your tech skills. And you can have a successful website. And I really appreciate that. And that really motivates me to create these kind of informational videos. Okay, let's talk about redirection. So to redirect, what you need to do is go to add plugins and find this plugin redirection. And you find this first plugin, which got two plus million active installation. Then click on install. I already installed the plugin. So once it's installed, click on activate. Plugin is activated, you can find this plugin under tools and then click on redirection. And you will see this first welcome page, welcome to redirection. So click on start setup. Then you'll see basic setup, monitor permalink change in WordPress post and pages. And keep a log of all 404 errors to understand the 404 errors on your website. And also you can set up redirect 
for the pages which are not longer exist on your website or maybe posts which you don't want exist on your website so click on all those three and then click on continue and then you can check import existing redirect and click on continue and then it will test the rest api and then click on finish setup then once all done click on continue click on continue and click on ready to begin you can see automatically there's some ul change on my website so what happens now this redirect 301 redirect is already added so i got a post on website which used to call fix wordpress needs to access your web servers and i changed the ul to how to fix so you can see how to is additional thing added to this ul so you can see the ul was changed this plugin automatically detected this thing and it set up a 301 code so what will happen when somebody visits this page it they will redirect it to this relevant page and for example in future if you want to change your website url or page you can just write that page for example i used to have a page which is used to call contact and then the new page is called contact us and guys make sure when you add this redirect there should be like similar content do not redirect it about page to a portfolio page or the pages which are not relevant and then from here you can choose modify post so when you click on add redirects you can see 301 code is added here okay in case you delete some content on your website so what kind of redirect you need to set so do not set any redirect if the page you don't want anymore just leave them like that because when google will call your website it will say okay these pages are not any longer exist it will show some time in 404 errors but after a few months these errors will be gone so now guys you understand when you should use redirect only when you change the page's name or page's url then only you need to set up the redirects okay let's go to third part which is really interesting because a lot of people have so many questions apart from these things i explained in the video so third part is common questions about 404 errors should you redirect all pages to home page using redirect plugin no i just answer this in the last section of this video second what to do if a page is deleted and now it's showing 404 error in google search console so do nothing leave it like that third common question how to handle a url change for a post or a page set up a redirect to relevant post or a page fourth what if you want to bring back a deleted 404 page okay so if a page was deleted by mistake you can restore the page or you deleted a page in past you didn't want it on your website but now you want this page back so what you can do create a similar page with the same url and then add very similar content which used to be on that page next dealing with multiple 404 error after website hack scan your website with wordfence plugin and anti malware plugin or any other security plugin you are using and then and resubmit your website sitemap next question handling errors with amp pages guys i see in lot of cases people use amp pages which are also called accelerated mobile pages it's like old technology google was promoting a lot before but now you don't want those pages on your website so what you can do about that do nothing leave them like that they will show in google search console you don't need to do anything about those so next thing is really interesting i saw some suggestion about no index tags on 404 pages so people said add no index tag for 404 pages i saw some big youtuber giving this advice but first think about it if the page is showing 404 error that means page doesn't exist on your website so if it doesn't exist on your website how you can add a no index tag to the page if the page exists on the website, you add a no index tag that will say to Google, don't index this page on the website. That is not something related to 404 error. So this advice using no index tags for 404 pages is totally bad advice. It will not work at all. And also it doesn't make any sense. Next common question is when referring page is also not available. So you need to check why the referring page was deleted. So if it was a mistake, restore that page. If that page moved to somewhere else, you can set up a 301 redirect to that page and rest you do not need to do anything about the error i hope i answer your question but if i haven't answered your questions comment down below in the video i answer all the questions on my channel and guys let's go to last and bonus part of this video where i give some secret tips and tricks if nothing works for your website what could be the problem and what you need to do okay so 404 error can cause on your website because of improper server configuration so what you can do in that case you need to regenerate your stxs file so go to the file manager you will see this file.stxs right click on this file and then rename and change it to dash back and click on rename file so because sometimes what happened our stxs file got corrupt so we need to place a new file with the perfect code so we click now here on plus file and give it name dot stxs and then click on create new file and then right click on this file and then click on edit and now we need to add this code as usual you'll find the code in the description of this video and then you add this code here 
in case of multi site website i'll add a different code in the description but for most of you you're going to need to add this code in your stx file and then click on save changes this will solve your issue or in your hosting check for the log if you're seeing some error on your website so check that error and then and try to resolve these errors I created a video how you can fix common errors on your website so I'll add that link in description you can check that video second thing is incorrect URL generation so what you can do in that case if you're using WordPress website go to settings and then go to permalinks scroll the page and just click on save changes you do not need to do anything else and all the permalinks will be regenerated so if you're having some errors these errors will be gone please like this video that really helped me a lot and subscribe to the channel if you're new here and if you want to support the channel then also you can subscribe to the channel it's totally free there's no money subscribing to the channel and guys please share this video with somebody and we want to resolve another common error which is indexing error in search console check this video on screen or you want to create a successful affiliate marketing website check this other video on screen thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe to the channel